a head coach opening, you ask yourself two questions. Who's the owner and who's the quarterback? Who wouldn't be jumping at trying to get their hands on Trevor Lawrence and an owner who's about to pour a ton of money into facilities? This is a team that should be in the playoffs next year with a great young quarterback. Hire somebody that's been around this game all his life. It's going to be up to team owner Shad Khan about the process. Shad Khan wanted to take a longer look. We just need number one, a leader of men. Somebody that when they say something, it holds weight. Do we know who will be the next coach of the Jags? Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson down in Jacksonville. Doug Peterson with his experience having a Super Bowl win on the resume. They sort of play well down in Duval. He understands how to build a sound organization with structure, being able to basically build from the ground up. These guys want to win. I mean, bottom line, they want to win, and it's got to be about football. Do you feel like you're behind the eight ball in terms of putting together a a staff? No. No. Confidence-wise, then, in, in being able to assemble? Very high. Doug Peterson. He's a man who's accomplished a lot. Top offensive coordinator, experienced head coach, a man who just four years ago won the Super Bowl. The Jaguars are moving forward with a new head coach. We're waiting to learn when Doug Peterson will be formally introduced in Jacksonville. We're still waiting to see when we'll get the chance to talk to him for the first time. How we doing? Brandon, yeah, Doug Peterson. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Ready for a big day? Big day. We're ready. Fired up for it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Jags fans. Coach Peterson here. I'm just so excited. Just touched down in Jacksonville and and really looking forward to, to getting started and going to work right here in Duval. And I'm excited. And let's go, Jags. God, how you doing? Great. Welcome to Jackson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Jenny. Love it. Everything okay? So oh, yeah. We're Everything's excited. great. Yeah, had a great, great trip up. Good little flight. Nice, okay. about, about a 40 minute flight. It was nice. So get Doug's good side, okay, please? Grant, how we doing, man? How are you? Good to see you. Good without the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was still debating whether or not to wear it or not. Just as a. Do you wear one golfing? No. You <laughs> one here? All right, that was fun with me. Hey, what's going on? How are you doing? This is Sutton. She's gonna be the shy one, real quick. And that's Boone. 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 What you Boone got? Say, huh? I think one. Where did you get that at? At the, uh, at Sea World. At Sea World. Yeah. What's up? Trail, coach. How you doing, man? Great to finally meet you. Good to great. see you. Great. Good to see you. Great. Yeah. How was the flight in? Pretty short. Great. Hey, Josh. Good to see you. Good to see you. I got my okay. son Wesley with me. How we doing? What you got with you? Ah. Uh. <laughs> the process came to an end Thursday night, five weeks from the day it started, with Doug being our choice to be the next head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Doug Peterson. Thank you, thank you. And um, I just gotta say, you know, thank you to Shad Khan and the the Jacksonville Jaguars for really giving me this opportunity to lead this football team and to lead this fan base and to lead, you know, this city. This culture is all about winning. The players here want to win. I want to win. And that's what I can bring to the Jacksonville Jaguars, to this community, and to our fan base. Our goal is to win football games, but we're going to do it one player, one coach, one person in the organization at a time. And to our fans, listen, I know you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot, even this past season. But that's about to change. I'm not going to settle for anything less than a championship caliber, championship caliber team. It's going to be a collaborative process. 
And I think all of us are aligned. The goal here is to win. Tough decisions got to be made at the end of the day, whether it's a draft pick, whether it's free agency. Those decisions come down sometimes to the wire. The scouts are coming in Sunday. The pro department's been putting together their list for free agency. Now it's a matter of involving the coaches, the coaching staff, and as, as Doug and I talked, that's, that's gonna be critical. And we're gonna have to get after it as soon as we get them through the door. At the end of the day, when we walk out on that practice field or that game field, we're Jaguars. What you like about this guy is he's got really good body control, really good quickness. This guy's a little bit thicker. A little bit taller. And you got to keep this guy, let the coaches look at him. Add this guy to the coaches list to, to view. Got good ball skills. Doesn't have a big catch radius, body catcher. This guy is going to the combine, right? Yes. He's a draftable player. Take a shot late if, you, if he fits your system. Right? All right, fellas. I think we're good now. Okay, at some point Thursday, guys, we'll have another Zoom with you just to go over the combine logistics, make sure everyone's on point for that. And then at the combine, we'll at some point, we'll visit about the next steps here. Okay, here we go. Just got done watching the tight ends. Now the receivers are up. Oh boy. As, as we all know, it's no mystery that we're looking for receivers. So it's a position of need, so we're going to pay extra attention to it. Oh, Jeff, a quick question. Sorry. In Philadelphia, I remember you had the, the ice cream days where you gave ice cream to players. Is that coming back in Jackson? Of course it's coming I back. Like it. Saturday night. <laughs>